What's cracking everybody? It's Avery. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair. This isn't like a hairstylist video. It's literally just how I style my hair. I just have a couple different things I'm gonna show you guys. This is actually my second time filming this video because the first time uh, my footage was completely overexposed. I'm still getting used to my brand new camera. Since I did all that heat damage yesterday and I'm about to do it all again, let's just take a moment of silence for my hair. Anyways, now that's out of the way. While I'm brushing out my hair, because I obviously just showered, I am going to kind of just talk about my hair. I wanted to start off with talking about my perm a little bit because I still get a lot of questions on it. So as you can see, like if I wanted my hair to be curly, it still could be. I've just been liking doing different things with it. When it was a lot curlier, it used to be really difficult to like brush out and straighten. It's a lot easier to do my hair like different styles. My perm is still there a little bit, but it's very faded. I'll put a picture of what it looks like. In this picture, I blow dried my bangs and I used a little bit of this beach spray. And that was all I did for that. I like it, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do other things than leave it natural. I also wanted to talk about the damage that the perm did to my hair. I'm not gonna lie, it did a lot of damage. The underneath of my hair, like back here, completely broke off like to this length. So when I was debating on getting my perm, it was either, okay, I'm gonna get a perm or I'm gonna cut all my hair off, go blonde and get bangs. I got a perm and then I figured once I'm done with that and I'm able to dye my hair again, I'm going to do the other thing I wanted to do. And that's exactly what I did. I did cut a ton of my hair off as you've maybe seen if you follow me on Instagram or have seen any of my past videos. A while ago I cut all my hair off because it was damaged and I also wanted to so now the length is all even. I don't have any breakage because I cut all the rest of my hair off to that length. If you are thinking about getting a perm, no it did do a lot of damage but now my hair is perfectly healthy. So yeah, there's an update on my perm since a lot of people were just asking and this is a hair video, I just figured I would talk about it. Moving on, I wanted to talk about the inspiration for my current haircut. My two like biggest hair inspirations are Camille Jansen and Suki Waterhouse. I just really like the style of both of their hair. It's very like, it has that very natural messy look that looks like it takes no effort, but it actually does take a lot of effort for me at least. If you're wondering what I just used, this is my Function of Beauty leave-in conditioner. I really like it, but I also like it's a 10. It's a good leave-in conditioner. Okay, to start off with my first hairstyle, I'm gonna show you guys how I do like my flipped out bangs kind of like I guess it kind of looks 90s inspired I don't know you guys will see when it's done I like to do this when my hair is wet because it's easier to dry it that way with my blow dryer instead of just use a flat iron I probably will have to use my flat iron a little bit so starting off I'm just gonna put some mousse in my hair because I like my hair to look very voluminous and not flat I have a mirror right in front of me this way just so you know why I'm like looking this way. Now I'm literally just gonna blow dry my hair. I like to use a round brush. I think that makes things a lot easier, especially for like flipping out the ends. I am going to also heat up my flat iron because I know I'm gonna have to do a couple touch-ups um, using this. So before I really get started, I just wanna say I'm not an expert at my hair. My mom has to help me with my hair all the time because like I said, she's really good at hair. So I'm not perfect. I'm still like perfecting it. I'm gonna put some of this honey infused hair oil in my hair kind of as like a heat protectant. I usually flip my bangs out a little bit and then flip the ends out a little bit as well. And yeah, I'll see you after it's dry. Now that my hair is dry, I'm going to do my actual hair and then do my bangs last. My ends didn't curl up as much as I wanted to with the blow dryer, but that's okay. I'm going to use my flat iron. So all I do is literally take a piece of hair, um, grab my flat iron, go to straighten it. And just like that, you can see it's like a little bit more flipped out at the end. Tip for this, make sure you are not um, just doing the bottom because then it will leave like weird kink in your hair. So I do the top a little bit just to kind of straighten it out and also make sure you're not rotating your flat iron too much. I also just like to alternate different ways. So um, for these kind of longer pieces, I like to go more out and then for like the shorter ones around my face, I like to curl in like that. Okay, see, I rotated that one too much and that became a curl and that's not what I want. For me to get the perfect flip, I'll take my flat iron to like a 45 degree angle. Did I just say 45? 
I'm at 90. Ever since I graduated, I swear to God, I've become a lot stupider. So I literally just do this to the rest of my hair until I'm happy with it. And that's pretty much it. To give my hair just a little bit more texture, I'm just gonna take a few tiny pieces and just like, kind of, you can barely even call this a curl because it's really not, like it's just like that. I just don't like my hair to look flat. I like it to look voluminous. So I'm gonna take some dry shampoo, put that in my hair also. My hair really doesn't have like a lot of natural texture and I like it to look more voluminous. So I'm gonna take that. I also have some like finishing texture hairspray. Spray some of that all over on this side. So that's pretty much it for this side. Maybe I'll do a few more pieces. It's really nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna move on to my bangs. So when I used to do this, I would blow dry them under completely, but I feel like it just kind of looked weird like against my forehead. I've been starting to do it out a little bit and then just kind of style the ends to come more outwards. So I think that looks good on this side. I'm gonna spray it a really, 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 and I cannot stress this enough, really important part of having bangs is making sure you are texturing them correctly or at all. When I first cut my hair and I forgot kind of how to style my bangs because I've had bangs a lot of times before, I would just kind of let them air dry or blow them dry and they would just kind of look like a fan straight across my face and I really did not like that. I like the grungier look. That also is how you cut them. They were kind of cut straight across and then my mom like, made them look a little bit more grungier with like the cutting. There's just a tip for you. An easy way to do this is just hairspray your fingers and just kind of like mess with them. Just on the ends though, because I've made the mistake of putting hairspray like clear up here and then it's all just crunchy. You can hairspray them from like behind, front. This hairspray sucks. I really need a new one. I'm gonna use this one because this is like a texture hairspray. To give my hair a little bit more volume, I'm just going to like tease it from underneath. It's important for me to have like volume at the top of my hair. So now I'm just going to just do that. So this is the first hairstyle. I know it's really simple and looks like it could just be like natural, but obviously it was not because I just put a lot of effort into it, but I like it. I think it's cute. I just plugged my curling iron in. Flat irons are actually a really good way to curl hair, especially for shorter hair. Recently, I've been um, liking to use a curling iron to curl my hair instead of a flat iron, but both work great. This is Hot Tools Professional. This is like one and fourth inch. This is my mother's. Just like when I flat iron my hair, I don't curl like every single piece of my hair because I feel like it takes away from like the messy look that I like. I'm basically just gonna do like the same thing I did for the flat iron, but with a curling iron. So I just take a piece. Make sure I get it to the top and leave the ends out. Hold it for a sec and just kind of like drag it down. Then mess it up a little bit and pull it while still keeping it like together. Volume at the top is really important instead of volume like in the middle and the ends because if it's flat on the top and really big out here, it literally like you just kind of look like a triangle head. So to make sure that happens, I will take just like a really small piece and wrap my hair around it like this and just kind of drag this up and down. This is like my favorite way to curl my hair because I just really like the results and just let go. And it's really subtle, but it does give a little bit more volume at the top. I do that with like a lot of different pieces of my hair. I also alternate like the types of pieces that I get. Like sometimes I get really big ones, sometimes I get really small ones, and sometimes I get medium ones.
I'm just using a pick to kind of like tease everything. I also tease my bangs at the top. Nothing like crazy, but I just feel like it helps to kind of blend in with my hair a little bit more. After I'm finished with this video, I am not going to wash or do any heat, use any heat on my hair for quite some time because Lord, my hair is so tired of it. <laughs> because my hair is curly now, I'm going to take a little bit of just like a beach texturing spray. And that's pretty much it for this side. So now I'm just going to hurry and do the other side. Is anyone else significantly better at curling one side of their hair than the other? Cause like this side, I struggle with. When I used to curl my hair, for some reason, I was really worried about like, symmetry of my hair, like each piece looking exactly equal on like each side. I found when you don't do that, that's what gives it a more natural look. That's it for the second look. I don't know, I've been so happy with my hair recently. I love the cut. I hope this video was helpful for you. I also wanna say I know not everyone has like hair types and textures like mine. So these hair like styles uh, won't work on everyone. Like if you're a person of color, have really big curly hair or really textured hair, you might not be able to do all these things. You definitely can find someone on YouTube who can help you. Like Arista Planet is great when it comes to hair. Um, she kills it. She always has super cute hairstyles. So just throwing that out there. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this um, helped you at all. If you're thinking about changing your hair, do it. Why not? If you want bangs, do it. Go get them cut professionally or have someone know what they're doing because I've seen that backfire way too many times. But yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Um, Wow, did I just say that? I love you guys. I really appreciate your support. Oh, where is this coming from? Uh... You can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want. You can subscribe if you want. Yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out. Mwah. Goodbye.